Not a, it's not a scam, it's a legend call. Thank you for calling Social Security Administration Department. How can I help you today? This is Kessel. I got a voicemail to call this number. Okay, did you receive any reference number or any case ID number? No, I did not. Okay, in this case, can you verify me your first and your last name? Sure. Yeah, can you verify me? It's Kissel. Frank Kissel. This is Kissel. Kissel. I told you it was Kissel. Just give me a second, sir. What do you want? Just give me a second, sir. Just I'm pull out in your file. Okay. Uh, your name is James Kissel, right? Frank. Frank. F-R-A-N-K. Frank Kissel. F R A N K. Frank Okay. Okay. Can you verify me your zip code? One three zero six nine. One three zero six nine. That's Give it. me a second. Okay, tough guy. One three zero six nine. Okay, just give me a second. Okay. And uh, okay. And which state do you live? New York State, the Empire State. Okay, I got it. Can you verify me your last four digits of your social security number, Frank? One four six three. One four six three. That's it. Okay. Okay. What else you need there? Okay, I got it. Sizzle, what do you need? Now? Okay, I got it. Okay. Okay, I got it. So listen. Okay. This call was regarding a social security number, which is found very suspicious. And some fraud and activity that has been going under your name as I was using your social security number that the reason you're receiving a call from the social security department so that we can inform you regarding those fraud and activities. Okay, thank you. So grab a pen and the paper. Just grab a pen and the paper in your handy. I will provide you some primary details. I'll grab one. I got case. one right here in my handy. Go ahead. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Just note down my name. My name is Alex Brown. Alex Brown. Ask me again, I'll knock you down. Okay, Alex. Go ahead. What else you want? And now, okay, now note down. Yeah, okay, now note down my federal batch ID oh, number okay. 150075. Oh, oh, Wait a minute. 150075. Oh, oh, 775, seven, sir. There are two sevens. Two sevens. 150775. Seven, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. I got it. Now, no, now note down your case ID number is D is in Delta. D Delta. D is in Charlie. Ah, uh, Charlie. D Charlie. Yeah. 4010. Okay. Okay, now note down your warrant ID number is C is in Charlie. Warrant? C is in Alpha. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down there, yeah. Alex. A warrant for who? Well, I will explain each and everything by step by step. First, note down what I'm giving, okay? Okay, go ahead. What's my warrant? Okay, just note down your warrant ID number, C is in Charlie, C A is in Alpha. Okay. 6581. Okay. Okay. Now I'm going to read out your very, uh, like your case verification. Okay. Just listen to me very carefully and don't interrupt me while I'm okay. speaking. Okay, okay, we done. I will give you a fair enough chance to ask any doubt, any queries once I complete my part, okay? Oh, okay. Go ahead, Frank. One more thing, this call is federally monitored and recorded by U.S. government. Whatever you will do, be truth okay. and honest, okay? I'm honest with the government. Yeah. I wouldn't try to screw them. Okay. No way. Okay. 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 Let's the investigation go. started. Was, huh? The investigation started, started. On 29 of December 2020. We found the branded car Toyota Corolla in the south border of Texas. With some I'm in New York there, Alex. Alex, 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 I'm in New York. I know, sir, but we found a car in the south border of Texas. So what does that have to do with okay? me? Huh? I, will exp I will explain you each and everything by step by step. Just listen to me first. Don't interrupt me while I'm speaking. Okay, okay, okay go ahead. Okay. okay. And we found a car was rented under your name and using your social security number. Okay. We also found there are two addresses linked up with the social security number. Right. One of them raided by U.S. Marshal and they recovered 12 pounds of cocaine and some documentation. Oh, we got 12 pounds. A several bank account, card, credit card that are also registered and operated under your name. Uh oh And using a social security.
number. Oh boy. Now all the people having your name on it and a thousand of dollars has been wired to different countries like Mexico, Colombia, Pakistan, Afghanistan illegally. Boy, that shit. the reason Social Security Administration has filed a case against your name for a drug trafficking as well as money against on me, it. Kissel? Now is the Yeah. Oh. Now the charges against the social number. We got an order from the US Treasury Department to suspend your social security oh, number. You can't like do that. If we will do I get social if security. We will do so all I'm retired, I get social security. Sir, you want to listen to your case? Yes, I know, say me for that. Why but you interrupt me while I'm sick? Because I get social security you and you are... say you're going to cancel it. This is Kessel. Yeah. Yeah. Because we found very criminal activity that has going under your name. Okay. 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 I'm sorry. We are suspending your social security number. Okay. We got an order from the U.S. Treasury no, Department not okay. to suspend your social security number right away. If we will do so, all the thing which linked up the social, like your properties, your vehicles, your debit card, your credit card, your bank account, Holy your shit. driving license, your state. You gonna take your everything? Passport, everything will be seized. Yeah, everything will be seen. Oh, you can't do that, down. Alex. Come on. So you want to listen? Same I'm yes, trying Alex. to listen, but you're going to take all my stuff. I'll give you a fair enough chance, sir. Okay. Just give me a second. Go ahead. This is Kissel. Okay. Go ahead. I mean, in your past record, the past record has been cleared. It doesn't have any criminal activities in the past. No. That the reason Social Security Administration has given a chance for you. To prove you are the innocent person, you don't have any criminal activities in the past. Okay? Well, that now one time I hit the regarding... super, I hit the super across the street with a baseball bat, but he made me mad. So, first listen to me, sir. Yes. Okay? You don't interrupt me while I'm speaking. I'm not. You, know I'm you asked me a question and I answered it. Uh, I don't know how that's interrupted. Yeah, go ahead. This is Kessel, I told you. Okay. Okay. So do you have any knowledge about this fraud and activities? Absolutely not. Okay. Have you ever shared any uh, any information to any third person, like a social number to any third person? No, I never gave it to a third person. Nope. Okay. Have you ever used your social security number in your known website? Like what kind of website would I put my social security number on? Like top credit score, huh? a loan, payday loan. Like oh, no, 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 no. I don't do those payday loans. They're a scam. Okay. Okay. Have you ever, like, lost, have you ever lost any kind of documentation in the past? I lost my wallet once. Okay. Okay. So, to yeah. the point of this time, you're the prime suspect of this case because you're... How can I be the prime family. suspect? So, listen to me. I'm first. in New York. Love me. Oh, boy. Sir. What? The reason your name and your charges, your social number has two charges for drug trafficking as well as money laundering. And there also has been arrest warrant issued by the U.S. government. I don't want no, no arrest sir, warrant by no out. government. No way. I didn't do it. Now, listen. listen. Now, if you are agreed to have the U.S. Treasury Department as Social Security Administration to find that person, who yes. has misused your information to defraud and activity. Okay, what have I got to do? Be able to you want me to go look for him? From your name. Want me to go look for him? No, sir. First. So are you going to cooperate? Well, I'll cooperate, but I yes, don't know what I got to do. Okay, I will transfer your line to my senior investigation officer. I will explain you each and everything better than me. Well, I hope so. Okay. First, I want to fill the acid verification form. So I want to forward this form to my senior investigation officer from DEA, from the okay. enforcement go agency. Ahead. Now I'm going to ask some questions regarding okay. this case to verify a real acid and fake acid. So try to be very clear from your end. Do you have any property registered under your name? Like, do you have any house registered under your name? Yeah, I got a house. Living. Okay. Okay. Do you have any car? Like, do you have any vehicle registered under your name? Like, do you have any car? Yeah, I got a car. What is the make and model? 2017 Hibachi. 2017 Hibachi. Yes. Okay. Do you have any health insurance? Oh. I got Medicare. Does that count? Medicare. I'm retired. Yeah, okay. This is Kessel. Okay. Okay. Uh, you have a driving license, like regular one, or you're a commission? No, I got 
M and C, M and C driver license. Right. Okay, M and C. I can drive a truck with the C. To C, I can drive a truck. I can back a truck through a two-car garage. Good. I'm good. Okay. Apart from 16, apart from 16 different bank accounts, which actual bank you dealing with? What is the bank of your name? Lake Ontario Savings. What is the bank of your name? Lake Ontario Savings. Lake L A C K Lake. Lake Ontario. Can Ontario. You spell, Common can you spell spelling. Your bank name? Common spelling. Ontario. Ontario. Okay. Lake Ontario. Uh, and it's out by the lighthouse. It's by the lighthouse. Uh, okay. Okay. And the lake bank, they are, they are saving and checking the boat account? Yes, I got boat. Okay. And do you have any debit card addition to your name? Like any debit card, a bank card? I got debit card, sure. Yeah, do you have any credit card addition to your name? I got one credit card, too. MasterCard. Oh, uh, you have the MasterCard. Master. There are two credit cards or... Or MasterCard? No, I got one credit card. It's a MasterCard. Okay. How did I lose you here? Okay. What is your approach balance is that in your bank? Oh, uh, I don't know if I should tell you that. This is Kessel. So, so. What? Listen, because yeah. so I want to know, I want to know what is your belonging and what is your hard and money. I know you want to know what my hard earned money is, but what should I tell you? So listen, first of all, Speak up there, Alex. I first can't hear all, you. Sir. Speak up. Speak up. So first of all, don't give me a prog like a uh, give me a rough bigger like a prog balance. Okay. Like five, one thousand. I got. I got. I got five hundred in my checking. Five hundred in my checking. That's a rough amount. Okay. And what in your saving? Five hundred too. Let's go with five hundred in each. Okay. Okay. Just give me a second, so I will transfer your line to my senior investigation okay. officer. Okay. Put him on the phone. I want to talk to this guy too. Okay. Just give me a second. Well, thanks for holding the line. This is senior investigation officer. My name is Sean Taylor, and I believe that I'm speaking with Mr. Frank Schrager. Kissel. Kissel. Sorry. Frank Kissel. Could you spell out your last name, Mr. Frank? K I S S E L L Kissel. E L L or it's E L O. E L L Kissel. Yeah, I got it, Mr. Frank. Okay. Mr. Kissel. Yes. Yeah. The reason you respected today is my officer who explained you the whole situation. He did the situation. Like what went wrong under your name? Yes. Yeah, like Something about Texas. I told him I'm oh, in sorry. New York. I'm in New York. Yeah. Just give me a slight moment, sir. And I do believe that you're ready to cooperate with me so that I can guide you further, like what needs to be done and what needs to be done. Yeah, what needs to be done. That's what he said. I don't know what needs to be done. Sir, so your call has been transferred to me in regard to take care of this case. Okay, okay let's Mr. take Kissel? care of it. Go ahead. Mr. Paul, sir, I just want to re-verify your assets declaration form, which you have provided to my representative right away, okay? Go ahead. Yeah, Mr. Kissel, the yes. house where you are residing right now, it's your own house or it's a rented house? It's my own house. And how many cars do you have under your name? I told the other fellow I got one car. Did he give you this information? Didn't he give you this information? He has provided me the all information, but I'm just re-verifying those informations, okay? Oh, okay. Then what kind of car do I have? Yes. Yes. What type of car it is? 2017 Hibachi. Hibachi? Hibachi. Hibachi. Yeah, got it. Okay. Okay, and what about, like, how many banks you were dealing with? I told the other guy all this stuff. One bank. What's the name of that bank? Lake Ontario Savings, same as it was before. Could you spell out the name of that bank? Because I can see there are multiple accounts open in the yawning. So could you just spell out the name of that bank? Lake Ontario, common spelling. I got it. Okay. Lake Ontario Bank. It's out by the lighthouse. And you have a saving? Yeah, you have a savings and checking board in it? I got one of each. Yes. Go ahead. Yeah. And I'm ready. What's the approximate fund you have in each of them? 500. 500 in each of them? Yes. 
Okay, you have a debit card as well. And yes. how many credit cards do you have? I got one. Cr- Why did I tell the other guy all this stuff if I got to tell you all this stuff? That's okay, Mr. Kissel, but I just want to know how many credit cards are listed under your name. One. One card. One. Credit card. Credit card. One. What? What's the name of that credit card? Master card. No, like from which bank it belongs to? Like from from Lake Credit Ontario Union Savings. Lake Ontario Savings, the same bank I deal with. Sure, I'm asking you for your credit. Okay, not about your debit. It is my credit card. That's who gave it to me. It's Lake Antonio. Yeah. Or what? And what's the limit of that credit card? Five thousand. Do you owe any money from the five thousand? Of course I do. How much do you owe? Five thousand. So it's been maxed out. Oh yeah, I'm fucked. Okay. Now, Mr. Kissel, before yes. I proceed ahead, I would like to inform you some protocols which you need to follow while you're working with me on this federally okay. recorded line. Okay. What have I got to do? As right now, my officer. Tell me what I right got to do. Mr. Kissel, my Tell me. Found you a victim of an identity theft. Okay. Right. That's really so told he had him. Trans- call to me yes. so that I can help you out from this case. Okay, help me. Okay, I can guide you like how you can safeguard your information and your belongings. Okay, okay. what I gotta do? Right now, Mr. Kisa, first you need to follow two protocols. Okay, I'll follow the protocols. The first protocol, yeah, the first protocol yes. is a non-disclosure agreement. A non- Mr. Kisa, non- non- agreement whoa, whoa, non- non- whoa, non-disclosure what? I didn't hear you. Non-disclosure. Non- 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 Non-disclosure agreement. Agreement. This ah. agreement means. Means what? Yeah, this agreement What's means. What's it mean? You are not allowed. Sir, will you stop interrupting me? Oh, I'm trying to so hear you. Just interrupting me in between. Well, you're trying to tell me, and I don't know what you're talking about. I'm sorry. Go ahead. This is Kissel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Non-disclosure agreement means. You are not right. allowed to disclose this matter to any third person. I won't tell the any third person. The reason you're not person. allowed to no. disclose this matter to any third person because we don't know who is using your personal no, information. No, we don't. I, this is and what I'm wondering. I'm, wa- it could be, I'm wondering who it is my own self here. It could be the super across the street. Okay. Go so ahead. Kissel, Go ahead, it Alex. It could be anyone. It could be a friend, your neighbors. I'm not blaming any anyone, friends. but it could be a family member as well, okay? Okay. So just be, you need to be very private and very confident until okay. the time you're working. Go ahead. Okay? Yeah, I'm ready. Yeah. Second protocol is that, Mr. Kissel. Yes. You're not allowed to put me on mute or on hold till the time we are working on this federally recorded line. Because we need to record this whole conversation, okay? Because this recording is the only evidence which we have in your favor. In my favor. We will play this recording inside. Yeah. Okay, where are you going to play? We will play this recording in... inside of what? So why are you interrupting me? In because this I can't hear again? you. Because it's so loud wherever you are, I can't hear you. Can you hear me now? Yes, now I can. Yeah, right now, Mr. Kissel, are you agreed to follow those protocols that you will not disclose this matter to any third person and you will not put me on mute or on hold? Yeah, I can do that. Go ahead. Now, I want you to get ready. Get ready okay, for so what? Your debit what am I getting to... ready for? Where am I going? Why am I getting ready for Sir, what? I'm explaining you again and again one thing. Please do not interrupt me while I'm talking to you. Well, you told me I to get ready. I don't know what I'm getting ready standard. for. I don't know what I'm getting ready for. Mr. Kissel, may I know, like, will you be able to transfer your money from your savings into your checking? Why would I do that? Because, Mr. Kissel, we have got an order to suspend your social. And once we will suspend your social, all your bank accounts will get seized and freeze. So and the money what? that you have in those accounts, it will directly go to the U.S. Treasury account. And I do believe that the money which you have in your account, it's your hard-earned money. Yeah, it's my hard-earned money. And you know what? It's going to stay my hard-earned money. No government yeah, is going to take my money. Yeah, but sure, you have to safeguard your money if you want. I'll that put money, it in my pocket. How about that? It. I'll put it in my pocket. I'll safeguard it myself. I got a gun, too. I can safeguard it. Okay, you have a gun as well? Do you have a license for gun? I don't want to talk about that. That's okay, sir. You're trying to be a smart in front of me. What I will do, I'm just sending the U.S. Marshal at your place. Hey, you know what? Okay. Why don't so you then, go fuck yourself? What? Why don't you go fuck yourself? How about that, Alex? You scamming bastard. How about that? This is Kissel. You foolish fucker. 
Hey, Buckface, I'm talking to you. Hey, asshole, answer me. Ben Chode, I'm talking to you. Fuckers.